Hey guys, now before I talk about A Million Ways to Die in the West, I just want to say that I am a Seth MacFarlane fan. I think he's a funny dude. I really liked Family Guy back when it started, and Ted is one of my favourite comedies of the last few years. Unfortunately, this is a case where you've seen all of the best jokes in the trailers. I don't think Seth MacFarlane makes for a good lead. He's not a very good actor. He has the same weird look on his face no matter what he's doing. He's better suited as the comedy sidekick, as he is in Ted. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck. If you found that funny, this might be for you. The only real compliment I can give it, and this sounds a bit odd, but it's the cinematography. The film really is quite stunning at times. Something else I did enjoy was the score, but that's only because it reminded me of this. I love this movie. It does have an impressive cast, but they're given nothing to do. Or they're given one joke that they repeat over and over and over. And it's not even that funny the first time. There are a few fun cameos, but they're pointless and really just thrown in. And the best one you've seen in the trailer. The story, uh, man meets woman in the West and everyone swears a lot. Now, just to be clear, I do like a good dick and fart joke but simply having a character say fuck or taking a shit in a hat isn't enough. You need to write some actual jokes, make an effort. If you told me a 13 year old boy wrote this film, I'd believe you. Only a very good comedy can pull off being two hours long. By the halfway point, I was ready to walk out. I believe there is something during and after the credits, but as soon as it said the end, most people got up and were ready to leave. The first thing I heard someone say was, that was fucking shit. As I film this, it has a 35% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Personally, I think that's too high. I really didn't like this one. It made Ted look like the fucking godfather. If you want my opinion, I say you stay home and save your money, or go out and watch X-Men again. That's the end of the review, guys. It's been short, but that's all it deserves. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.